Ambassador Oren, it's very good to see you. Thank you very much for joining us today and, and, and during this um, disastrous time for Israel and the region and the people of Gaza, um, not Hamas. Uh, let's talk about this, your reaction, and what can be accomplished with a ground invasion of a place as dense as Gaza with tunnels, with hostages. Can Israel accomplish its mission of decapitating Hamas, destroying its infrastructure without all that loss of life? Good to be with you, Andrea, as always, as always. Um, let me first off by saying that uh, I'm not in any official position. I think I speak for the people of Israel here and saying how deeply moved we are, impressed and strengthened uh, by the words of President uh, Biden, by Secretary of State Blinken in his earlier press conference, uh, and now um, uh, the, both of these People spoke with immense courage and strength and passion and understanding and moral clarity above all. I can't stress those two words more, moral clarity. Again, we are deeply, deeply appreciative. And we understand. I understood immediately when the president started talking about in his initial speech, when he talked about the need for, um, for the Israeli army, like the U.S. military, to act in accordance with law in contradistinction to the way Hamas acts, which is in flagrant violation of that law. Uh, we understood it. And uh, and we will do our utmost. I mean, even now, as our air force is operating in neighborhoods, um, which for these don't think of like a, a leafy suburban neighborhood. These are kill zones for Israeli soldiers. They're heavily mined, booby trapped. They have kill ton. They have offensive tunnels under them. They're kill zones. Um, we are dropping those hundreds of thousands of leaflets, SMS messages, those knock knock. Uh, missiles that hit the top of uh, buildings, they're not explosive, and they inform the inhabitants of those buildings that the building is liable to be hit. Um, all that is crucial it precursors to uh, a ground incursion, which we all assume is going to occur in the not too distant future. Um, and it will be immensely complex, immensely complex because of this environment, this warren, this labyrinth of, of alleys, all of which are uh, heavily mined and wired, and the civilian population. And we've encountered this again and again. Andrea, you and I have been through this many times, uh, the same situation. Uh, this time it's going to be much greater because the Israeli army is going to go deeper and is going to uproot Hamas. Can this be done militarily? It can be done militarily. Uh, Israel can't destroy the idea of Hamas, which is the same idea of ISIS, uh, same idea of Al-Qaeda. I think that is a, a, a task for all of our civilization, and it's a long-term task. But one which we can't, we can't forego. We can't lose hope of ever defeating these vicious ideas. Um, for the civilian population of Gaza, nobody wants to hurt civilians. Nobody wants to hurt civilians, and there will be efforts to try to minimize the greatest degree possible in an active, densely populated war zone to minimize to the greatest degree possible uh, civilian casualties, whether it's providing humanitarian corridors, whether it's providing food and water relief. We will do that. But keep in mind, this is a war, and this is a war that uh, was thrust upon us, that we have to fight, we have to defend our country, restore our security. We have to, if we can, do our best to uh, rescue those hostages, our hostages, your hostages. And uh, and we so, again, we appreciate the understanding and commitment um, of the president, of the secretary of state, and the entire administration. And we will be in very, very close touch with them as this uh, conflict continues until we achieve our goals. What about rescuing the hostages? Is there a way to to rescue them in this urban context? This, you know, obviously booby trapped, you, IEDs, snipers. It is. There is a way, of course, but it's a very complicated way, and it's not an easy way, and it's sort of not a foolproof way. Um, we have units. Uh, the U.S. military have units. Where this is their specialty. Um, a great number of hostages were already released because of these units, and we suffered casualties among these units, uh, rescuing hostages, but a great many were released. It can be done. The great challenge there is locating them. You, you remember, Andrew, you remember Gilad Shalit. He was the Israeli soldier taken about 12, 13 years ago uh, and held for five years in Hamas captivity in Israel, uh, ended up exchanging a great number of uh, jailed terrorists to se secure his release. The big problem there was locating Gilad Shalit um, because there is actually a, an underground 
country, and not a city, it's an underground country under the Gaza Strip. And the Hamas has, has dug, excavated hundreds of, uh, of kilometers of tunnels and under, under, underground headquarters, caverns, um, arsenals, uh, and to find a, an individual there. It may be a little bit easier to find larger groups. We don't know. And uh, one thing is certain, that uh, as Secretary Blinken said, um, Hamas is a terrorist organization that uses its own civilian population as human shields. I guarantee you they'll be using the hostages as human shields as well.